Now we turn to our ongoing coverage of the aftermath of Hurricane Sandy. And as the list goes on, it all raises more concern about climate change. Global warming is upon us, and it's going to get worse and worse and worse unless we do something about it. This is one of the most contaminated waterways in the United States. An EPA Superfund site, the Gowanus Canal had been polluted by industry for more than a century. It is also located in a FEMA-designated flood zone A. During Hurricane Sandy, coastal flooding spread toxic water into the neighborhoods. The canal overflowed by one inch. Our neighborhood in the, around the Gowanus, all of the buildings flooded, and my whole basement flooded and needed to be repaired. In September 2021, because of Hurricane Ida and the sewer overflows, Linda's basement flooded again. She's concerned that the Gowanus area could flood at any time and cause a disaster. With sea level rise, climate scientists also fear that there is no remitigation and flood mitigation efforts may not work. This is uh, observed annual average sea level data from the Battery uh, in Lower Manhattan, where sea level has risen about a foot since about 1900. It can really increase through frequent uh, high tide flooding events, and uh, even some, some rarer events as well, events like Hurricane Sandy and Hurricane Irene. Historically, the Gowanus area has flooded often. Since the mid-1900s, the Gowanus Canal has been filled with pollutants and sewage by coal and gas plants, paper mills, and other industrial businesses. Even though the EPA has been cleaning up the Gowanus Canal, garbage and sewer overflow still can be seen in the water. Professor Jack Caravanos at the College of Global Public Health at NYU states that of all the pollutants, coal tar is the most dangerous. The coal tar is known to cause cancer and skin cancer and, and definitely a highly regulated material. Uh, fortunately, with federal funds, an effort now is underway to uh, clean it. But it is a very long canal. Uh, it can be a project that can go on for decades. Now, the Gowanus area is going to be the site of the biggest rezoning in New York City. We have the votes. It's going to be a very big deal. Uh, it's going to be a very big deal, I think, across the country. At the center of the uproar, the Gowanus rezoning aims to build 8,200 new apartments and introduce roughly 20,000 new residents to the neighborhood by 2035. I'm really excited about non-citizen voting. So. Brad Lander, a member of the New York City Council, represents the 39th district, which includes Gowanus. This didn't come from a developer. It didn't come from City Hall. It came from real conversation in the community. It does have the broadest coalition of community support, the Gowanus neighborhood. No rezone in the flood zone! No rezone in the flood zone! No rezone in the flood zone! In opposition to the Gowanus rezoning, Linda and other activists have formed a coalition of neighborhood associations called Voice of Gowanus. They demand that the city redo the Gowanus neighborhood rezoning draft environmental impact statement, which the EPA notes is based on data from 2008. Moreover, they ask that the city let the EPA finish cleaning up the Gowanus Canal before the rezoning. You can see that all these uh, hurricanes, that's really just a decade. And I've been here since 79. I've been here for over four decades. And it's really this decade has been absolutely the most extreme for basically natural disasters. Yes. Yeah, absolutely. Okay, but, so, but do I need an umbrella? Or should yeah, the umbrella is because you're, okay. you guys are out of the rain, oh, okay. obviously. Well, the rest of us are drowning. Oh. Well, we had a lot of flooding on this corner. I feel like you're not really considering the perspective of the actual residents of Gowanus. Oh. You know what, I think that the buildings, the, it's going to be better with a lot more buildings, okay? A lot more affordable housing. That's it. That's why we're building affordable housing, okay? Yes. Well, but so. why should poor people live in a flood zone next to a super fun site full of sewage well, that's not being well, 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 I think it's good for the timing. Can I take a picture? We need to do this now or we're not going to be able to do this. So yeah. we have to do this now, okay? Yeah. 
I just submit, let's use this moment, seeing how broken this reactive land use process is, to move us forward into something that in the era of the climate crisis, with such Despite a Despite the controversy, the Gowanus rezoning plan was approved by the city council in a vote of 47 versus 1 on November 23rd. Brylander says the city will put $174 million into updating the infrastructure system and increase the affordability of the Gowanus neighborhood. Uh, 3,000 of those units will be permanently affordable to low-income and working-class families. And this is right between the neighborhoods of Park Slope and Carroll Gardens that are some of the most expensive neighborhoods in the city to live in and today have almost no affordable housing. A 950-unit complex called Gowanus Green, most of the affordable housing, will be built on the side of a formal gas plant. Activists are concerned that the polluted soil and water will bring disease to the incoming residents. How come they put all the poor people on toxic land? Reporting on the Gowanus rezoning for the New York Times, Brad Hamilton argues that the rezoning will fill developers' desire to turn the industrial neighborhood into a huge real estate opportunity. Damage. Nobody really wants to think about massive flooding or sewage problems or any of these other things. They just want to build something and find a way to make money. And the city is hoping that part of that piece includes some affordable housing. According to a tax incentive, developers can only get a tax exemption if they include a certain portion of affordable units in their projects. Even if the Gowanus rezoning is voted through, Voice of Gowanus doesn't want to give up. They have started a legal challenging against the rezoning. The goal is definitely to file a lawsuit. Most people don't realize that all of the cleaning up being done to make Gowanus attractive for real estate developers to make the big bucks is being paid for by uh, the people paying gas bills in Brooklyn, Queens. Surrounded by this battle, Marisa has her own hope for the future. An immigrant from Puerto Rico, she has been living in the Gowanus houses for more than 40 years. Her apartment is located on Baum Street, right beside the Gowanus Canal. New buildings all around, all these business stuff, and everything's getting so expensive. So I, I don't know, I'm still, I would love for whoever's come in, coming in to keep us treating as equal as they are going to be treating themselves as they come in. In the face of the huge transformation from industrial neighborhood to residential area, people's lives in Gowanus are going to change. But the debate over whether to build new houses first or to first clean up the Gowanus Canal continues.